In this tutorial I'll show you how to create this futuristic scan reveal type of effect which you can basically create a template and make it a procedural effect to reveal any type of image. Okay so I have this car image here that I'm gonna go ahead and pre-compose and let's start off with a white solid and this will be our mask reveal effect. So with this solid we'll be deciding what kind of a reveal it will be either linear, radial or whatever you want to. So let's start off with a linear effect. Let's add linear wipe to this Let's go ahead and flip this, minus 90, set the feather to 80, and we're going to start from 100 here, go to 3 seconds, and set this to 0. So all we did here is create this linear wipe effect. Let's go ahead and add another effect called rough edges. Um, we can keep it at default, it doesn't really matter, and let's add a mosaic effect to this as well. But if you want something less futuristic, maybe more liquid, try it without this one. Set this to 100 and this to 40. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer. And basically we created a linear blocky type of effect here, as you can see, which will be revealing our image. Let's go back into the composition and hide this layer for now. Let's name this base and this will be reveal. Let's go to our base layer and make it a luma matte reveal. So now if we go and play this forward, you can see it reveals with the layer we created. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this. We're going to call this base as well and duplicate it and call this scan. Let's hide the base layer for now and add an effect called difference met. Under difference layer, we're going to set it to base and matching tolerance set to 2. Now let's go ahead and move the base layer a few frames forward, like so. And what we created here is basically a mask around our scan layer, which we can add more effects to it. Now I'm going to show you a bunch of variations you can do here. So for example, let's go ahead and add an effect called CC Ball Action. Uh, let's get the ball size here to 50. And you can see we got this type of a pixelated effect, which scans through our object. Let's add a tritone effect and choose the color we want to. So we can do green or bluish. Let's go ahead and put blue there. And let's add another effect. I'm gonna use deep glow. You can use the default glow. It's up to you. And if you want this line to be smaller or bigger, all you have to do is drag the base layer here backwards or forwards, like so. Okay, let's go ahead and hide the base layer and set the scan layer to additive. And as you can see, we created a scan effect already, which looks kind of futuristic. Now let me show you a few variations you can do with this layer. So for example, let me turn off ball action here, and we're going to add an effect called find edges instead. Invert it, put it above our tritone. So we get this type of line reveal effect, which is also cool. Uh, let's delete that. And another thing we can add is an effect called cell pattern. Let's add that above our tritone, set the size to maybe 20 and change it from bubbles to crystals or any of the ones you like here. Let's go ahead and add a vector blur, drop it above our tritone again. Let's set the amount here to minus 50 and the softness to zero. So we created this crystal type of reveal, which also looks quite nice. Now let me show you how you can reveal this in a different way. So if we go back to our reveal layer here, back to our white solid, let's disable the linear wipe. And let's say we wanted to start from the center. So we're going to go ahead and select the mask tool, holding control shift alt. I'm dragging out a sphere here. Let's hit double M brings us the mask settings. Go to the expansion here, set a keyframe. And starting off like so. And let's say about three seconds, oh, let's say four seconds. We want this to expand like this. Let's feather this out, feather the mask like 50. Don't go too crazy, maybe 80. Okay, and if we go back to our comp, we can see the effect is already applied and works just the same way, but with a different mask. And now if we want to change the image, we go to our base layer here. And instead of this car, I can drop this logo go back to our comp and the effect is already applied as well. 
So this is how you create this procedural type of effect. You can play around with the colors, create all types of variations as I showed you before. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.